pocket to speak with his parents. It's engaged. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's probably ringing everyone. <laughs> While he was unable to initially speak to his family, his teammates and coach were only too willing to sing his praises. Oh, he's inspirational, you know. Some of the times when you're out in the ground with him and uh, you think, geez, Gavin, why'd you go in there? You know, he's just, uh, he just has got no fear at all. And, uh, you know, he's highly skilled. He's just a terrific all-round player. Well, he's been a very, you know, he's, he's got a great philosophy in life. He's, um, he's a good, clean, living young kid. He's, he's a classic brown low middle side, I believe. And uh, we're only hoping that um, naturally at 20, he's got a long way ahead in the go. Finally, Wanganeen got through to his mother's Cheryl. The result was predictable. What are you crying for? <laughs> I knew that Gavin was a champion. I knew it. We come from a football background. We know footballers. And Gavin is out of the box, if you could use that term. While Wanganeen was stoic about his win, girlfriend for the past six months, Stephanie Richards, revealed otherwise. I told him all along. I told him he was going to win. I told him he was going to win the Brownlow, the Grand Final, and best on ground, the Grand Final. After fleeing the media and the crowds at the Southern Cross, it was back to the faithful, his greatest fans of all, at Windy Hill. And Nance wasn't going to let her boy go without a kiss. The normally shy and retiring Wanganeen was flooded with autograph requests. Being the champion he is, he was only too happy to comply. But by mid-afternoon, the shutters were brought down. The next talking he does will be on the MCG, when once again his deeds will speak louder than words. Anthony Hudson, 10 Eyewitness News. And Saturday's AFL Grand Final is a sellout with over 100,000 fans preparing to pack the MCG for the Carlton Essendon Clash. Karen O'Sullivan.